What's going on, everybody? It's Mickey Indigo here with another one. You already know. If you're new here, go ahead, like, and subscribe. If you want to, if you don't know, worries. Go ahead, kick back, and relax. I'm just a fellow ape here to hype up my favorite stocks, which at the moment is GME and AMC. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, dive right in. Before we do, look, I have a secondary channel where we talk all things entertainment, movies, TV, video games. This originally used to be my video game channel, but now I'm kind of hooked on talking about stocks and I'm gonna get to crypto in a little bit. Um, but right now I just want to focus on these meme stocks because I have a personal vendetta with the people that we're going against. And I, I I'm here to the end, guys. You're with me to the end, but I'm not leaving you after the end, man. But it's going to be a wild ride. You already know. So first, uh, first things first, right? We ended on another low volume day. That's 1.07 million. Jeez. That's like the third lowest we've had in quite some time. It makes me wonder, are we in fact getting to the point where they're running out of steam? right? Are we? I think we might be. But who knows, man, that for all we know, they might be waiting to uh, pull the trigger on shorting them again. Uh, they might be waiting to cut people off from crypto, you know, just pull out and have these people just hold in the bag. Who knows what's going to happen? I swear, man, if we end on another green day on Monday, I'm going to name my unborn child Ryan. I, I don't know what else to say, man. Like, I didn't expect Friday would be so bullish that we'd be ending on a green day. Not only are we ending on a green day, but the entire day we've been in the green. Yesterday's close was 152, and then we, we closed today at 159 and 30 cents. That's 420 <laughs> 4.20% increase for today. That's super bullish, guys. That's insanely bullish. Now, speaking of bullish, there's this DTCC Fixed Income Clearing Corporation notice. Um, and I'm not going to bore you with all the legal jargon. But from what I could tell, this actually means that reverse repos and look i'm not a financial advisor nor a legal advisor all this is my opinion and interpretation nothing more nothing less but i'm thinking this means that reverse repo can no longer be accepted as assets to increase uh the size of these books that is insanely bullish guys i've been talking on the daily i've been talking on the daily about these reverse repos and how i'm like yo this is so unsustainable this is so unsustainable well now it looks like this is the move to stop that and speaking of reverse repo we're at 1.111 trillion dollars so even though it's not in effect quite yet if this does in fact uh, go into effect we're probably going to start seeing once again lower daily reverse repos and thank god because it is absolutely insane it's such a scam what they're doing and i've been saying for how long there's got to be a time where the rubber has to meet the road you know so yeah it is what it is let's go ahead jump to the amc stock real quick that was actually uh, pretty significant as well. Obviously, not as significant as GME, uh, but I've already been saying, man, I'm not going to keep on repeating myself. But uh, in AMC, as you can see, we were in the red for a little bit of the time. Then at around 125, we started going in the green there. End of the day at 34 uh, and 41 cents. Now, yesterday's close was $33.79, which is not as much gains as you'd like, right? But it's okay. We're still ending in the green, which is super bullish. It means that they're cutting back, at least for today. So we'll see how, uh, you know, next week is going to shape up. But for this weekend, things are looking extremely positive right now. Now, last thing that I do want to cover um, is this is from Cryand. He's uh, someone who's been popping up in my feed quite a bit. And I've been paying a little bit of attention to them. He has um, a theory that, you know, come... 
uh, between now and the margin call starting in September, um, it's going to be absolutely insane. And he's saying like somewhere in the date of September 20th is where we're going to see some absolute carnage happening in the markets. Now they go on uh, to highlight this uh, little par paragraph where it says, but with UMR, they now have to worry about initial margin, IM, which will be margin for the OTC derivatives based on theoretical losses of counterparty default. This can be a death blow for many and is why they're expecting increased margin calls on September 1st. So we shall see. September 1st is going to be Wednesday. So that's about two weeks out. That's the next potential catalyst. Who knows when GME is going to be announcing the NFTs? We've been speculating for how long. Um, and it's been fun, you know, uh, coming up with all these different dates. Uh, but, you know, we got to keep uh, we got to keep our heads high and keep looking for the next possible date. And if it doesn't happen, we just rinse and repeat. Keep it up. All right. And if you're an ape, you already know. If you're not, why are you on my show? So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm Mickey Indigo. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my secondary channel. I can use a lot more stuff. The growth is uh, much slower than here, obviously, right? But, um, hey, I can use any help I could get. All right, guys? I'm Mickey Indigo. I love you all, and uh, you already know, that's a wrap.